guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are doing another Pokemon video. I believe last time we did Flareon and I mentioned that I wanted to do a Jolteon and a Vaporeon. Well, the person that ordered Flareon decided they wanted a matching three set. Basically the first three evolutions of Eevee. So we are going to be doing both. So today we are going to be doing Jolteon and then later on I'm going to show you guys how I do Vaporeon. Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, so this is the pattern that we're gonna use to make Jolteon. Now it's pretty much the same pattern that we used to make Flareon, it's just a little bit altered. I had to change like two things on it. So here is the main body piece along with the belly piece, and the only thing I changed on here was I added a spike at the end of his little booty, that way it looks more fluffy when we're done sewing it. And then the other pattern pieces you'll need is the pattern for the ear, the mane that goes around his neck, and then this is a pattern for his little butt. Basically this little triangle is going to help make his butt fur kind of flare out, kind of like it does in the anime. So that's the only real changes I had to make to this was changing up the back end. The rest of it is pretty much the same. So the first bit of sewing that I'm going to work on is going to be his white mane. So I'm going to take two of these pattern pieces, I'm going to sandwich them together and sew all the way around them. And that's all you need to do to the mane other than flip it right side out and stuff it, but we're going to do that later. So now I'm going to move on to making the body itself. So these are the pieces you're going to need. You're going to need a belly piece, the inside parts of the legs for all four of them, and then you're going to need a left and a right of the main body. So the first bit of sewing, I'm going to take the inside parts of the legs and I'm going to lay them onto the main body legs and then I'm going to sew all the way around them. Now for the back legs, I did not sew the very back of them because we're going to need to add that little bit of fur to the back of it later, so I left that open. After that, we're going to take our belly piece and we're going to connect all the pieces together using that belly piece. Okay, now we're going to take that little triangle patch and we're going to sew that to the back end of him. After you have that little triangle sewn into place, we can now flip the body right side out and we're going to sew up the back ends of the back legs. We can also stuff the legs while we're at it just to save some time. Okay, so we have the mane done, we have the body done, and now we need to sew the ears. So I have two fabric pieces cut out and two felt pieces cut out. And I'm gonna take one of the felt and one of the fur, and we're gonna sandwich them together and sew all the way around, leaving the base of it open so we can flip it right side out. These, you're not gonna stuff or anything, we want them to kinda be a little flat. Okay, now moving back to the body, we're gonna take the mane and we're gonna sew it onto the neck of the body. Now that our body is completely sewn, we need to add a wire frame to it. So I made a very simple wire frame using three pieces of wire, and I'm just going to take the wires for the legs and I'm going to run them through the legs of the body, and I'm going to do the same thing with the wire for the neck, I'm just going to run it through the middle of the mane. Now we just need to stuff the rest of the body and we can sew up the back of it. And then one last thing, I need to tighten up this little hole that's going to be where the head connects to it. So I'm going to take a needle and thread and I'm just going to go in and out all the way around the circle until I get to the other end of it and then I'm going to pull my string tight and tie it off. And that's pretty much all the sewing for Jolteon, now we're going to move on to making his clay face. For his clay face, I'm going to be using original Sculpey and I'm going to use a foam ball for the base of it. So I'm going to cover this in tin foil and we're going to start building our clay on top of this. Now like I've said in other projects where I've used foam as the base for my clay, make sure you remove the foam before you put this in the oven because it will melt and do horrible things. So I'm going to get a nice thick layer of clay built up on one side of the foam ball and then once I have that done I'm going to start adding more clay to it to shape the snout and to just refine the shape of the face. Now the details for his face are going to be very minimal because most of the face is going to be covered in fur. So the only things I really need to sculpt are going to be the eyes, the nose, and a little bit of the mouth. So for the eyes, I just need some balls of clay and I'm going to push those into the face where I want them. And then I'm going to use strips of clay to make the eyelids and start shaping the clay around the eyes to make the expression. Now with all of my sculpting, I'm trying to avoid having sharp edges because I want it to have more of a childish kind of anime style to it. So I'm trying to make everything all nice and smooth. For 
For the nose, I'm just adding a lump of clay to the end of the snout and I'm shaping it into an upside down triangle. Okay, and after we have the nose added, we just need to add the little indention for the mouth. So I'm just going to use one of my tools and I'm just going to kind of push into the clay and smooth it out. This doesn't have to have any detail to it, it just needs to be nice and smooth and even. And that's basically all the sculpting that we need to do, so I'm going to pop this off of my foam ball and I'm going to put it in the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for probably about 45 minutes. After your clay is out of the oven and is cool to touch, we can finally work on the painting. Now normally I like painting my eyes last, but I felt like this would be a lot easier if I painted them first. So I'm going to work on the eyes first, and one thing I've noticed with the eyes in the anime is sometimes they are just black, but I've noticed a lot of the more detailed images show a purple sheen to them. So I'm going to be painting the bottom of the eyes purple, and then I'm going to paint the top of them black, and I'm going to blend that together. Now I did get some purple and black paint onto my eyelids, so I need to fix this up before I add the yellow to it. Because yellow is such a thin paint, it doesn't want to layer up very well, and I would have to do probably like six layers of yellow to get rid of this color. So I'm going to actually be painting the eyelids white first. I might do two layers of this, and then I'm going to go over that with the yellow. I'll still need to do a few layers of yellow, but it won't be nearly as much, and you'll get a lot better look after using the white. And then the last little painting we need to do is that tiny little nose. We're just going to go over it with black and then we're all done. So I'm going to apply a layer of resin to this after it's all dried. So this is going to sit overnight and then afterwards we can put everything together. Okay, it's the following day and my head is all dry and we can add it to the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it onto the wire for the neck and then after that I'm going to use a strip of yellow and I'm going to go around the foam ball to cover that seam up. After that, we're going to add the ears to the piece, so I'm just going to glue these into place. By the way, I'm using two types of glue. I'm using a hot glue gun and I'm using E6000 glue. Okay, now we just need to start adding some fur to the face. So I measured out a bunch of different shapes of fur to fit onto the face, and we're just going to be using our two types of glue to glue everything on. I'm mainly using the E6000 glue around all the seams, that way it locks it into place and I get a much smoother seam onto the face. So kind of like going around the eyelids and everything like that. After we have the face completely furred, the last thing we need to do is let this dry and then we just need to go over the face and the legs with a hair trimmer. Okay guys, and that's how I did a Jolteon. I had so much fun making him and I can't wait to start on Vaporeon. I'll probably have a few videos between this one and that one just because I haven't started on Vaporeon yet. So I hope you guys like the following videos that I have planned out. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!